In this video, I'm going to show you how to raise a damage claim against a guest in a real life example. So I've had a guest here. He was a horrible guest. I knew they were going to cause some trouble. And eventually, after they left, my cleaners have reported that the guest tried to enter the, the storage room and they broke the door. So I'm going to show you how exactly you can raise a claim when a guest causes a damage to your property right the best thing to do is log into your airbnb account from your computer because you don't have all the options on a phone app so once you log in to your airbnb hosting account the first thing you need to do is go to the guest message thread so this is the guest message thread and this was the guest i'm going to raise a claim against and i kind of knew because they had this one star review and i knew they're going to cause problems but we needed a reservation so i took the risk so all you need to do is scroll down towards the bottom on the right hand side panel as i'm currently doing and towards the bottom you will see this option start an airbnb cover request okay air cover request you click on that and that's going to lead you to the next screen this is where they say they're asking what really happened so i'm going to say guest tried to enter the storage room and broke the door you click on next and they're going to say when did this happen so i'm going to choose the day when the guest checked out okay so this was today 31st of march and it's saying what type of damage or loss occurred. I'm going to say items were damaged. And you can choose all other options, whatever is relevant to, to you. Item name, I'm going to say door. Choose that. Click next. It's damaged. I'm going to choose, but you can choose whatever is relevant in your case. And then when you scroll down, it's going to say, what was the age of the item? So keep in mind, if you mention an age, which is, you know, kind of five years or 10 years, it may not be eligible for a claim. So I'm going to use one year. This is the default I choose. And I'm going to raise a claim for $100 because I believe it's going to cost me $100 to repair the door. And how did you determine the amount? I'm going to choose I received an estimate for now my best estimate for now and click next and airbnb will give me an option later on to give them an official estimate from a workman but for now i'll just choose my best estimate and now they're asking me to upload the photos or the videos of the damage so i'm going to choose the photos And it's asking what kind of photo is this, you know, is it a receipt or is it an invoice or what kind of thing. So I'm going to say broken door. Description is mandatory. So you have to write something in the description. And again, I'm going to write broken door here. The damaged item or area I'm going to choose. And next. One thing you need to keep in mind when you're taking photos of the damage. Let me show you the photos which I had clicked, but make sure whenever you raise a claim, take photos with timestamp, okay? Because when you take photos with a timestamp, it adds more legitimacy to your claim. Let me just show you the photos of the damage they have caused. This is the photo of the damage the guest has caused. This is the broken door and my cleaner, their instructions are they have to take a photo with a timestamp on the picture. This adds more weight to my claim, right? You can install a timestamp app on your phone and that automatically adds timestamp. So you don't have to fiddle around with your computer or phone settings to add a timestamp. OK, so as long as you have the timestamp, it adds more legitimacy, right? So these are the photos I've added to the claim we are raising. And when I come back to the claim screen, this is where all the information I have added. I have added pictures, I've added description, and I'm going to do submit a request. And what it has done now is it has sent it to the guest for them to accept the damage and pay for it. And what's going to happen is they have 72 hours to respond to this claim. Uh, most of the guests, they do not respond to that. 
they either decline it or they don't respond. The options for you is you have to wait for 72 hours and after that you will see a new button on this screen where you can click on involve Airbnb. That's where Airbnb will start reviewing your claim and they will mediate the claim and they will charge back to the guest whatever they can and the rest of it will come from the Airbnb insurance. If you want to see the status, I know this window at the moment doesn't give me a lot of information. If you want to come back and look at the claim, all you need to do is just type airbnb.com forward slash resolution. This takes you to the resolution center and when you type airbnb.com forward slash resolutions, it takes you to the claim. This is where it shows that the guest has 71 hours now left to respond to the claim. And after 72 hours, once, they are, when, once that period has expired, I will see another button here which will say involve Airbnb. And that's where Airbnb will ask you to provide more details. It has been more than 72 hours now and as I expected the guest has not responded to my request for the additional payment. But you would notice there is a new button which has appeared here now. It is called contact us. So all I need to do is to click on contact us and that's where Airbnb will get involved. When you click on contact us, there are the two options, close request or involve Airbnb support. Obviously I'm gonna choose involve Airbnb support. And it gives you all these things, etc., etc. You just click next, get started, and then you will say guest broke the storage room door. Click next. You will accept their terms and conditions. And that's it, right? So this is where the request has now been sent to Airbnb, and they will start looking at your claim. And after that, it's gonna be all in Airbnb hands and they're going to look at it and they're going to review it and hopefully they will approve it. If you do it the right way, uh, I believe everyone gets a reasonable uh, reimbursement from Airbnb. Make sure every time you raise a claim, you don't waste any time. Start the claim as soon as possible. In my case, my cleaners reported this problem at one o'clock and I'm raising it within a couple of hours after my cleaners reported it. And within a couple of hours, the guest checked out. So make sure you raise a claim this way as soon as possible. Wait for 72 hours and then click on Involve Airbnb. Add more details to the claim. Add the estimates or the receipt or the purchase and send it to Airbnb. There's a great chance that they will reimburse you for the expense you're going to have to repair the damage. All the best.